Hi guys, Matt Thomas here at Cedar Rock Studio Guitar Gallery in Indiana. And today I have a guitar all the way from Japan here that was built by Kazuki Nishi of Keystone Guitars. This is a really special creature. It has a unreal bear claw German top over top of really beautiful Madagascar rosewood back and sides and and it's got a one-piece mahogany neck into both a Brazilian faceplate and back cap as well. Uh, the volute also is just luscious. It feels so perfect around the thumb. Um, now it's also got a Brazilian bridge and as we move away towards that sound hole you might notice that there's something really unique about that rosette. It's actually a Koa resin epoxy pour that he did and it's actually got a micro bevel that was routed in the center of it so that it actually casts light it it's a brilliant concept I, i've never seen anything quite like that um and also it's got snakewood binding all the way around directly into this gorgeous feeling uh well what's unique about this is it's like a ryan bevel on this side into Alaskan bevel on that side. That's quite unique. Um, and also, it's got a rib bevel out of snake wood as well. Now, one of the coolest things that I noticed and pointed out is the shape of this heel. The whole heel is actually contoured inward towards where it comes to that point. And same thing with how he actually shaped the side into it. Um, so, Mr. Nishi, wowzers. This is an amazing instrument, and I look forward to playing more keystones in the future. Um, the scale length of this is standard, it's 25.5. Um, the nut width actually is 1 and 25 30 seconds, and 2 and 5 16 at the saddle. So it's the ultimate finger style guitar. <laughs> Um, this is also, I should mention, this is his SJ model, but it's not a full 16. And especially with the rib bevel and the arm bevel, you'd think it was an OM. But with the way this thing moves air and growls, you'd think you had a team of OMs under your arm. So, um, I should also mention, it's got GoTo 510s, so that you can have fun going around to your different tunings. Um, and a really unique shaped saddle. Um, it's not quite like the other Samaji stuff that I've seen before, which he's a third generation Samaji apprentice. So he's taken a lot of the concepts and changed them slightly with very beautiful elegance. I really love the shape and intonation of that saddle and it, it works quite well. So really good job. <laughs> It also has Evo gold frets over top of uh, an ebony fretboard. And really there's, you can get lost in this instrument looking at it all day long. 
but you don't need to. You can close your eyes and get lost in the sound of this thing. And that's what I've been doing for days now. So if you have any actual questions about this instrument other than the rambling I've done, make sure you um, email alan at cedarrockstudio.com. Thanks.